Hi guys, today we thought we would share with you how we named our eight children. We have eight children and we're expecting number nine, but we don't know what this baby is. We won't know till we have this baby. And so we have two names yet that we have to come up with, a boy name and a girl name. I don't remember any of them. It just happened. <laughs> All the other eight? Yeah. <laughs> I think it'll come back to you. It kind of is the funniest <laughs> thing. There's a lot of responsibility. Yeah, and it's really hard. It's crazy. It is so hard. These poor kids are going to have to live with those names. <laughs> yeah, that's true. That's true. Um, our first name was not hard, though. Our first child is Judah. And we actually... Do you remember when we figured out that name? Probably before we were pregnant or something. Before we were married. We is that right? About, yeah. I told you, I like this name, Judah. And you're like, I love that. Yeah. And so Judah was a given. We didn't know what Judah was till like two weeks before we had him. And one so week. one week, one week. And I don't even remember what our girl's name was. Oh, it was Layla. I think it was, I'm pretty was sure it was it? Layla. Yeah. And anyway, so Judah ended up being his name. We really love that name. We were confident about that. No questions. And his middle name is Michael, which is your dad's My name. My dad's name. Mm -hmm. So our second child, we did not know, um, boy or girl, so we had, I was very certain it was a boy. Shh, Hope, do you want to talk well, to you? pretty much thought it was a boy. Yeah, so we had a boy's name picked out. I, I know that boy's name was Micah, and um, we, I was just so certain it was a boy, and um, I remember the day we went in to be induced that morning, we were standing there, we were like, we better decide on a girl's name, and Layla was one of them, and Nama was one. But um, Nema is Swahili for grace, and it's spelled N-E-E-M-A. And it was like a time when um, when Finding Nemo was really popular, and I was really afraid that people would call her Nema, Nema, or Nemo, <laughs> either one. And so, um, and then the other one I loved, loved, loved was Belle. But um, I wasn't sure I wanted Belle for her main name. And... Um, and then I had a great grandmother named Isabel, who is an amazing lady, a great woman of faith, and a prayer warrior. And so, so we were kind of deciding between that. I remember that morning, and we just kind of decided, let's name her Isabel and call her Belle. And um, and then when she came out a girl, I was so shocked. Like I, I just wasn't even sure. Like, did we pick the right name? I remember feeling that way because we hadn't. We were just so certain it was a boy. I was especially, and I think you kind of knew it might be a girl, but I was so certain. So, I yeah. I, it took me a minute, like, okay, I hope we named her the right name, but Belle fix, fits her perfectly. We love it, and she likes to go by Isabel now, too, so it's nice that she has options. So, third one. What's up, that time? <laughs> our Luca. Third, our third one is Luca, which is Swahili for Luke. And Luke's my brother's name. So I remember we couldn't, we, you know, we almost used Micah with Belle. Um, and so, but we just didn't feel like he was Micah. And I remember we were talking a lot like, oh, we need a different name. And one day we were, we were building the house and we were sitting on the construction site. Like they had just dug the hole for our house. And um, we were talking about names and we started talking about names in Swahili. And he said, Luca. And I was like, ah, that's perfect. That's it. Wow, you have good memory. Uh, no recollection. <laughs> His middle name is my Zero. is David, which is my maiden name too. So, um, but he's a lot like my brother too. So it's kind of funny when you See, name a kid. It's all about her. <laughs> Everything. <Yeah. laughs> but David is also his dad's middle name. So my maiden name, his dad's middle name. So, so our fourth child. It's Micah. And finally he, used the name. <laughs> he was in there somewhere. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and he's definitely a Micah. Yep. Totally. It suits him well. Yeah. <laughs> His middle name is Jonathan. It was kind of a very sad time. I think the week, either the week he was born or the same month that he was born with a friend who lost their f child in Atlanta about, that was 11 years old. And his name was Jonathan. And, uh, and I spent a little time with that Jonathan uh, just a year or two before that. So... It was kind of, we kind of, it was a strong name, you know, he, we had kind of thinking about it and, and thinking back how hard it was for our friends during that time, but anyway. Yeah, so we kind of want to honor your friend. Um, our fifth one is 
victory. And did we know Tori was a girl? Yes, we did know Tori was a girl. So we knew that name. But we didn't have to pick out a boy's name. Yeah. Uh, and Micah, too. We we knew Micah was a boy, too. We accidentally found out. Um, somebody told us accidentally. So, um, so with victory, we were going through a really hard time in our lives. And I had heard it actually just on a TV show. And they, the girl's nickname was Tori. And I... I had heard it years before, and I loved it, and I kind of kept it in the back of my mind. We liked the name. Also, it was a time in our lives when we were going through a hard time, and we needed some victory in our lives. And so I think the name kind of go, went with the time. Um, I had just left a job and started a business, and so it was the second year into it, and, uh, and we needed victory. And... Uh, yeah, and the minute she was born, we had like major breakthrough. It was awesome. Totally. <laughs> so totally. names do mean a lot. <laughs> and yeah. actually, I forgot to say Isabel's middle name. We ended up using Nema Grace. Grace in Swahili. In Swahili so. for her middle name. So after that, we kind of thought, you know what? The girls, it'd be great if they had Swahili names because they'll lose our Kenyan last they name. Might. Maybe <laughs> if they don't marry a Kenyan. So it would like be a piece of Kenyan that sticks with them in their name. And so, um, so for Tori's middle name, we gave her Sifa, Sifa. <laughs> which is praise in Swahili. Yeah. So then Eli came along. Eli, um, we did know he was a boy, didn't we? No. I don't remember. I don't remember. I don't think we did actually. See, that's a problem when you have too many kids. You don't remember. <laughs> how, how so start. I don't think we knew Eli was a boy, but, um, we were struggling to come up with a boy's name. And I remember we were driving to Florida for a vacation and I was reading uh, out loud to probably Judah um, a book about Eli Whitney for school and I was just really impressed with Eli Whitney's character and so I told Solo hey what about Eli and you know our other boys Judah Luca and Micah all have biblical names so we kind of felt like we needed to stick with that genre and they were awesome names so yeah so anyway Solo really liked that because more than Eli Whitney too yeah, and then it's also a strong biblical name. Where all the boys have strong biblical names, so we kept with the same. Um, and you like theme. Eli in the Bible? Yeah, he's a good high priest. <laughs> he's a great guy. Yeah, so I don't uh, like his kids, but I do like Eli. <laughs> so um, Eli, I remember that um, we didn't tell any of our family what our, the name was, but they would ask us like, "Is it in the Bible? Yes. Is it short, long, or like short?" Is it common? Yes. And no one guessed it. And then they were like, oh, it's so simple when he was born. I remember that was like a, whole, a game the whole time. <laughs> and then Elon Manning gets his first Super Bowl that year that he was born. So. <laughs> well, we're all worked out. Yep. And then Eli's middle name is Wayne, which is my dad's middle name. Then the next one, Noel. I always love the name Noel. And it kind of goes well with Isabel. And um, I didn't use it several times because I thought... It, Maybe needed to be a Christmas baby, and we didn't know if Noel was a boy or a girl. But um, I we did have a name. Do you remember our boy name that we had for her? Uh, it was Canaan. Oh, Canaan, yeah. Canaan, the, like the Promised Land. And I wasn't quite sure that that was the right name. So when she was born, they said it was a girl. I was like, oh, I was so happy and relieved because I just wasn't totally sure that Canaan was the name we wanted to use. But um, yeah, Noel. We like Noel, and um, it meant it means gift. Which um, we had a number of miscarriages before her for the first time of having miscarriages. So it like it just fit the whole uh, situation very well. I felt like she was definitely a gift. And so then next one. What's the next one? Right here. Oh. Yeah. Am I missing someone in between? I hope not. Judah, yeah. Bell, Luca, Micah, Tori, Eli, Noel. Hope. <laughs> Yeah, hope. we I actually the reason um, we liked we knew what hope was so we kind of do every other at least more recently we have of whether we know or don't know Solo loves to know I don't so we kind of take turns a little bit but um, yeah for hope I actually had a miscarriage right before I had her and um, the Lord gave me the this word that because I kind of felt desperate about it and just it felt very overwhelming and the Lord showed me that I did not have hope and hope is everything and they just kind of stuck with us we kind of like destiny a lot I like des destiny and using des 
but none of our kids liked it and Solo didn't like it. Like, so, none do, of them liked it. Do you notice it. how we kind of like it? Yeah, so, I liked it a lot. We kind of like it. We kind of yeah. like Destiny. I liked it. I had some... to say. I probably could have talked one kid into it. Yeah. <laughs> so we ended up, it was hope. It was hope all along. It was hope all along. Yeah, so that was hope and we'll see what's next. Are you picking the next name? I gotta find out. What it is. <laughs> you better pick the next name. You gotta pick a boy's name and a girl's name. <laughs> I don't like girl's name. You yeah, don't like hard. picking the girl's name? It's oh, what's Hope's middle name? We forgot to tell them. What's Hope's middle name? Oh, we forgot to tell them Noel's middle name too. Noel is Tuzie, which is Susan in Swahili, which is my mom's name, and we call her Tuzie all the time. So we kind of make up our own nickname, kind of like Susie. We do call her Tuzie a lot, and then um, I don't never. Know. The kids do especially. And then um, Hope's middle name is Zuri. <laughs> Hope's middle name is Zuri. Oh my god. Which is good in Swahili. What? Yeah. It's kind of good, but. It's kind of good. It's butchered though a little bit in the spelling to make it easy to. It's good. It makes it good for a name. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so it means good, sort of, but um, it gonna... means good in a name. Yeah, you think, well, at least we, use, we didn't use the name blanket or apple, but we did make up a little bit, twisted Swahili a little bit to kind of feed up what we it, so it yeah. works. Yeah. All right, thanks for watching, guys. Maybe you got some inspiration for names on your own, and if you have any suggestions for us, leave it in the comments down below. See you next time.